has their emotional eating thing. Uh, some people have pizza, pasta, donut, whatever their sort of go-to bad food is. My go-to sort of junk food that I really crave is cinnamon rolls. And uh, the reason that is such an emotional food for me is one of my favorite things to do with my grandmother when I was young was to sit on the counter and to help her during every stage of making cinnamon rolls. So just the flavor of the, you know, the gooey cinnamon and all that brown sugar and the smell of the bread rising in the oven, everything, just the, the whole memory of it is something that I find very nourishing. And if I'm having sort of a hard day and I'm going to resort to an emotional food, that's sort of the thing that comes up. That's sort of the heart food that I want to feed. And I've found a way to enjoy all those delicious flavors and sort of bring a little bit of grandma back into my life. She passed away when I was in high school, so I definitely, I dearly miss her. Um, and I found a way to have all that flavor and all that sweet, yummy goodness without all the flour, eggs, butter, and really enjoy a delicious treat. It is a treat. It has calories. It has carbs. It has all sorts of stuff that a lot of people want to avoid. But for me, this is a lot better than grabbing some yucky cinnamon roll because I certainly am never going to have all the ingredients for a cinnamon roll in my house nowadays. So what I have here in front of you are the makings of sort of my emotional food fix. So I have some leftover brown rice, organic brown rice, I have some coconut oil. I'm going to go ahead and put some coconut oil into the pan right now. This is the oil, so this is going to give it sort of a buttery flavor. I have my pan heating up here on medium. I'm just going to get this coconut oil nice and melted. I'm going to use that as a healthy fat. So it's not that this dish doesn't have fat. It's not that this dish doesn't have sugar. It does have sugar and it does have fat. But I've sort of upgraded the model, right? Instead of animal fats and saturated fats that are going to raise my blood cholesterol and all sorts of nasty things, I'm going to have the cleaned up version and I'm going to feel really, really good about it. So we don't feel bad when we go ahead and toss a good tablespoon of that oil in there. No problem. It's better than a stick of butter, right? And then once we have that in there, we're going to go ahead and get our rice to start heating up. We want our rice nice and hot so that by the time we sit down with our delicious uh, cinnamon pecan bowl, it's still going to be steaming and warm just like a cinnamon roll would be right out of the oven. So we want to make sure that we get this rice nice and coated. If you need a little bit more coconut oil, feel free to use it. What you're going for is you want to be able to heat the rice in the pan and have all the rice as it's cooking, have a slight gloss to it. So it shouldn't look matte anymore. So your leftover brown rice, when you pull it out of the fridge, should just look matte, right? No, nothing going on. But once you have it in that hot oil, it should all start, sort of look a little glossy. So hopefully you can see here that it's sort of starting to gloss up. And we want all, there we go. I think we've got every little bit looking shiny and glossy and that's exactly what we want. And we're gonna add just a pinch of salt in here. Turn this heat down to medium here. And then we're gonna add some vanilla, sprinkle this all around, and we're gonna add some maple. Now with the maple, we want it sweet and gooey, um, but we don't wanna overdo it. So you can always add more, you can't take it out. So start low and go ahead and add as you go. And we're just gonna let this maple sort of thicken up a little bit. And if you haven't made cinnamon rolls before, you're the kind who sort of buys them at that, that mall place where they blow the cinnamon roll smell all over the mall, then you might not know this, but the best part about making cinnamon rolls is that when you flip the cinnamon rolls over from the pan, there's this ooey, gooey, yummy deliciousness. And it's the result of all that butter and cinnamon and brown sugar sort of coming together in the bottom of the pan and has this delicious glaze. It's also the stuff that's all swirled right into the middle of the cinnamon rolls. Where it's why we all love the middle of the cinnamon roll the best. So we do want to reduce some of the water out of that maple so we do get that gooey sort of yumminess in our um, in our pecan rice bowls. Now, I feel like the trick to this is having fresh cinnamon. If you don't have the time, you don't have a microplane zester or a little grater, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and use pre-ground cinnamon. But for me, because this is an emotional food for me, this is something that I do when I'm looking for a little extra love, um, I think it's worth it to take the time to go ahead and grate the cinnamon fresh. On me. It's a little more time consuming, but you know, you have to wait for the maple to sort of reduce down anyway, so why not, right? Give you something to do to pass the time. It's the smell. 
smell when you freshly grate the cinnamon is just over the top. It's so good. Okay, let's see what we've got here. On a cold fall night or winter night, if I just come home to an empty house, my family's out doing something fun, this is definitely my go-to dessert of choice. It's just comforting and warm and sweet. I love it. All right, my sauce is starting to thicken up. Now there's a preference thing here too I should mention. If you like your pecans to be all soggy like they've been baked in the oven with the cinnamon rolls, then you wanna go ahead and throw your pecans in right when you throw in your maple. Me, I love the crunch that I get from leaving the pecans out. So in other words, I have this sort of warm, yummy rice with the gooey sweet sauce, and then I have a crunchy, slightly salty flavored, or at least hearty flavored um, pecan. So I leave them out and I toss them in at the very last minute just to make sure they're warm. All right, and this sauce is just getting nice and thick and gooey. And the smell of the house is just like when grandma was baking cinnamon rolls. All right. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, now I want to check the rice and I want to make sure that every little bit of it has this sweet and yummy coating on it. We don't want any dry pockets. We don't want any boring pockets in our cinnamon pecan bowl. We want a delicious sweet dessert no matter what serving we happen to get. Okay, so this is good. Now you can tell that the sauce is thick enough when you sort of run the pan through and it looks almost like honey in the pan. So it no longer looks watery like maple. It has firm body to it. And then you know it's going to be totally delicious. We're going to turn the heat off here. I'm going to go ahead and mix my pecans in. There we go. Just a little more. Okay. This is looking good. And once your pecans have that same gloss and look like they've been coated in the sauce, you are ready to cuddle up with your nice warm uh, cinnamon pecan bowl. Let's see, my pecans are just about shiny here. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. We're going to move this out of the way. I have myself a little um, jug of almond milk here because, of course, when I was little, I used to enjoy a glass of milk with my cinnamon rolls. Not doing too much milk these days. Okay, there we go. It's funny, if I taste milk now, I think, ooh, gross, how did I ever, ever, ever eat that? Now, this is gonna be way too hot for me to take a bite of it right now. Look at all that steamy goodness. But by the time I cuddle up with a good book or a movie and get myself seated in a comfy spot, this is gonna be perfect to enjoy this nice, hot cinnamon pecan bowl. See if I can blow on it, get it cool enough to try it. Mmm. Hot, hot, hot. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I mean, it's just what, it does just what it was designed to do. And that is give me that delicious, sweet, cinnamon, nutty, and even buttery taste. Believe it or not, the coconut oil, when you mix it with the salt and you have all these other ingredients, it tastes buttery. It tastes just like we melted a stick of butter in the pan. But of course, we have a superfood fat instead of a fat that is going to clog our arteries. So definitely a more healthy choice. So I hope that you cuddle up on the couch and enjoy your cinnamon pecan bowl as much as I do.